Some of the candidates running in Toronto's mayoral debate will be squaring off tonight at the Daily Bread Food Bank. The confirmed candidates include Mitzi Hunter, Brad Bradford, Anna Bello, Olivia Chow and Josh Matlow. Former Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders has declined the invite. The CEO of Daily Bread says tackling the city's affordability crisis needs to be a priority for the city's next mayor. The numbers are staggering. So when we first had conversations uh, at the start of the pandemic, we were seeing about 60 to 70,000 client visits per month. That number now in Toronto is 270,000. And so our next mayor has an enormous job ahead of them. They need to set out a clear vision that will uh, enable affordable housing to be built so that people will be able to thrive in community. And a new poll on the race to become Toronto's next mayor puts one candidate well ahead of the pack. CB24's Beatrice Faceman has more. So according to this new poll by Forum Research, which was conducted over the weekend, a thousand people surveyed over the phone, 36% of decided voters, these are people who know that if a by-election was held today, they would know who they are voting for, 36% say they would vote for Olivia Chow. She's actually picked up three percentage points over the course of the last week. So she is gaining momentum, but so too is her closest competitor. According to this poll, former Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders also picking up some steam. Uh, he's got 18% of decided voters throwing their support behind him. And then you've got Josh Matlow and Mitzi Hunter with 10%, Deputy Mayor, former Deputy Mayor, and a bylaw dropping down to 7%. And Brad Bradford also losing a bit of steam, dropping down to 6% according to this specific poll. We had a chance to talk to Lauren Bosnoff from Forum Research earlier this morning about right and left politics here in the city and how, depending on where you sit on that spectrum, influences how this race is going to go. People are now trying to, trying to make a, a, a solid decision. And I, I think people are, are sort of coming home to, to where they're from originally. So the left's got their, their candidate, Olivia Chow, clearly from the left. I think she's going to start sucking up the, the left vote. And then we've got Mark Saunders on the right. He's starting to attract the, the vote from the right. So we see the consolidation. It's going to come down to, it looks like right now, these two candidates, one from the right, one from the left, which is very, very common in, in Toronto politics at the end of the day. And a lot of rate name recognition between these two candidates as well. It's proved to be a, a decisive factor in this race when you've got 102 people vying for the city's top job. As for the top two uh, most important ballot issues, according to respondents here at Forum Research, housing. A quarter of people asked say housing is the number one ballot issue for them, followed by cost of living and inflation. And there's no question cost of living is expensive here in Toronto.